Alright folks, welcome back to another episode of Baldur's Gate 3. Before we begin, I'd like to say that I uh, popped on over to GameFAQs to uh, see how the uh, early access PS5 guys were uh, receiving the game. And uh, one of the first topics I saw was saying that uh, tutorials weren't popping up and that the game was too complex. And uh, if you saw my first video, because I told you guys that I uh, had played through this first area a couple of times and so I started over, it told me that I could reset the tutorials so that I could see them again. And if you noticed, I paused right there because I had never seen a tutorial period in the whole time I've been playing this game. So yeah, the tutorials are buggy right now on the PS5. They may or may not work. And uh, the few times I went through this area, the first time they didn't work for me, I didn't see a single pop-up. And uh, it was a bunch of basically trial and error and uh, and also using some of the uh, knowledge I've had from D&D in the past to, to get me through. Um, I've never played Divinity Original Sin, one or two. So I wasn't very familiar with the way Larian does their isometric RPG um, as far as playing it. And uh, yeah, I, 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 think that's, I think that's pretty bad on Larian's part. Kind of a dropping the ball type thing there. And I hope they fix that out. Hope they fix that because uh, gamers get frustrated. They'll put a game down. And I think this game is worth playing. But if you don't know what you're doing, and you feel it's complicated, I can see how people would say, ah, I'm not, I'm not gonna play that. But as an aside, here's one thing that I did find out that you can do to see the tutorials. You just go to your journal, you go to tutorials, and you'll start seeing stuff pop up here. Now, even though I didn't see a single tutorial during the time I've been playing this game, they do all end up here. They show up here back in the tutorial section. So what I would do is I'd come back here every once in a while and see what had populated in the tutorial section. And if you do that, uh, you can get an idea of, of how to play the game. Um, if they're not popping up for you, they should still pop up back here even if they're not popping up in game. All right? So uh, with that said, let's, 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 uh, let's start playing some Baldur's Gate 3. All right, where the, what the hell happened to me? What am I doing here? I can't believe this. What did I do to deserve this? Where the hells are we? I don't trust this place at all. Fuck is this? Not everyone made it out alive. There's a dead person. Better watch my ass. There's people dying. You can find a dozen different currencies in Faerun, but everyone accepts gold. Now, what are the things you want to get used to in playing this game? And this is one of the reasons why I went through this a couple of times, is to kind of just get used to the controls. All right, the context menu is, is your best friend, all right? You see that? You, I, I've got that highlighted. If you want to highlight stuff while your character's just moving around, you just push down on the L3 and you can start selecting stuff. All right. As you can see there, 
Square is the context menu over in the lower right corner. If you click on that, that's kind of like a right click for a mouse. It's kind of what it does. You can pick up stuff in the environment. You can pick up all kinds of stuff, guys. All kinds of stuff. All right. You click L3 again to go back to moving your character. All right. R1 gives you a bunch of access to a bunch of different abilities. All right. And you can even throw stuff from your inventory. So that chest I just picked up, if it can be thrown, I can now throw this thing. Oh, and my tutorials are working. Okay, well, they're working for now, anyway. Yeah, I, I've never seen this dismiss, <laughs> dismiss thing come up before. And what I encourage people to do is to pick up just about everything you can find. I mean, unless it's too heavy. Because a lot of them can sell for like one gold or something. And I assume that will be worth your time in the future when dealing with merchants and stuff to just sell them junk, even if it's only worth one gold, you know? What is this? What am I looking at here? Where the hell am I? Flying, I can see I'm outside. Outside is, what is that? Am I in hell? What is this? This is the pool that thing came from. The parasite now writhing behind your eye. Yeah, I didn't I didn't get any of this stuff the first time I came through here. Or the second time I came through here. They they were just not working. Some dialogue options require a skill check, a dice roll that must meet or exceed a target number. Your character skills add a bonus to this role. I got a plus one from intelligence and my investigation proficiency. See what we get. Oof, failed. I don't think I've ever, uh. You notice nothing more than meets the eye. I don't think I've ever succeeded at that. Uh, I also noticed in my other playthroughs that right now I'm using the directional pad to pick these uh, these different uh, dialogue options, and I lost the ability to do that in some of my other uh, preliminary playthrough play uh, playthroughs just to see how the game was working. I lost the ability to do that, and I had to use the analog stick. Um, not a big problem, but it shows that there's there's some stuff going on in the game that's not working right, you know? Oh! God damn it! This fucking place. Can't risk being in open view. Dead. Good. So you can pick up stuff from the inventory, drop things. That body's probably pretty damn heavy. If you push up on the directional pad, it gives you quick access to jumping. 
so you can just jump all over the place. All right. Sometimes that's helpful. Having quick access to that. Holding down on the D-pad puts you in stealth or takes you out of it. All right. Time all to right. scope about. So you can jump off of this fire here. You can tool tip this fire. And examine it. It'll show you. It deals 1d4 damage per turn. So you want to avoid fire. You know? I walked through that the first time I came through here. Thinking, oh, it's just uh, eye candy. But no. The environment in this game will fuck you up. So... Be careful. Always watch what you're doing. Always watch your surroundings, because this game will fucking... Get a little closer here. The environments in this game will fucking get you killed. You can hold down on R3, it will kind of highlight stuff for you. I don't really like to use that too much to me, that's kind of like cheating. So I do like to use the search ability though, because to me that's, that's like legit gameplay right there, you know? So I did miss some, I think I did miss something up here. So you wanna, you wanna search often. You see I can miss, I missed those uh, two things just sitting there. Visions project into your mind. A nautiloid hurtling through the plains, resplendent with psionic energy. Brine bowl. What is this? Restoration. God, I feel better. Thank goodness. Yeah, this is disgusting. This place. Under operation.
That's a condition. <laughs> Help us. my breath for a minute here. Images of goblins, their habits and histories flash into your mind. And how to kill them, I guess. of a nautiloid flashes into your mind. Nerves, sinews, as much living being as ship. A feeling penetrates your mind. An anomaly, one like ourselves, unconnected from the whole. Caution. beyond worlds flash before your eyes empires of a grand design traversed by ships just like this Either hit points, resistances. Just shows you everything uh, you kind of need to know about stuff in uh, combat. So it takes half damage from piercing attacks and double from bludgeoning. Yeah. Right, this stuff is all very helpful in combat, so don't forget about it. thousand years of humanoid history, elves, dwarves, humans, and more, flash behind your eyes. Fire! Hear something calling. Do I dare trust it? We are here. Here. I do not like the sound of that at all. We are trapped. Brain jar. Several brains are trapped in this device, gently kept afloat in cerebral spinal fluid. Tentacle aquarium. A humanoid brain, alive and in perfect condition, suspended, suspended in cerebral spinal fluid. Release us. Mind sanctuary. Can't pick those up. We are here. Here. What the hell is going on here? Oof. <laughs> 
We have come to save us from this place. From this place you'll free us. The exposed brain quivers in expectation. Please. Before they return. They return. Disgusting thing. A newborn. Born new from this husk. You realize you're talking to an intellect devourer. A minion of the mind flayers who abducted you. The enemy. So many enemies. Remove us from this body. From this case. Free us. Okay, let me inspect this exposed brain, see if I can find out what I'm dealing with. brain causing pressure where it strains against the shell of the skull. Plus two from dexterity, plus three from strength, but sounds like I could destroy it. This is, I've got an advantage here, but don't get any bonuses for medicine. I think it's better to use the advantage, though. I mean, you get two rolls instead of one, so. There goes nothing. <laughs> strange creature, making it more subservient, should it prove a threat. Hmm. No, I'm not gonna, I'm not going to risk harming the poor creature. What's the at the helm? Tenses, as though querying an unseen advisor. Do you not hear it? We will not survive here. We are needed to navigate. We are needed to leave this realm. What should I call you? Us. We are us. All right, let's go. To the helm we go. We are going to the helm. Some allies may temporarily join you. 
you can directly control their movement and actions. Get a little stretch going. Miranath. I can pick Miranath up. Put him in my pocket right there. <laughs> you go to your character sheet here. See how much weight I got going. Getting pretty heavy here. I think I'll just drop this. This chest here. Should we keep Miranath? I don't know. Maybe he'll come in useful. Hi, Elf. place is dangerous. Come along, us. Watch my back. How in the hell are we going to get the fuck out of here? I guess taking control of the ship is actually the only way. Let's go. What made you think I was a thrall? We carry mind flayer parasites. Unless we escape, unless we are cleansed, our bodies and minds will be tainted and twisted. Within days, we will be gay. Mind flayers. You are turning into mind flayers? There must be something we can do. We can do nothing until we escape. That must be our priority. We exterminate the imps. Then we find the helm and take control of the ship. As for that thing, it will remain tame as long as it believes we are thralls. It may be of use in the fight to come. Combat General Tutorial. Get ready to fight. Combat happens in rounds and each participant gets a turn to act. The game pauses around you during combat so you have time to plan your actions. 
During your turn, you can move, take an action, and take a bonus action. Mm -hmm. You can see your actions and bonus actions in the action radio menu. So you can do this with L1 or R1. I don't know if it's supposed to be that way, but that's the way it works. Let's work on this one and let, uh... May the gods take you first. When you're finished taking actions and moving, press the end turn button. Okay. Yes, you are a warrior. Yes, you're fine. Let's try a jump here. Job, us. You proved surprisingly adequate in battle. Now, to the helm. Some allies can join you on your adventure. You can control them the same way you control your own character. So we have Lazio now. Oh, I love Lazelle. I crave blood. Not sure how you say her name. Check her inventory. So got L2 over there to do that. You can pick between them. You can even pick uh, us over there and move us around. I've got a long road ahead. All right. Now I can get to my combat style. As I said, Ivy always uses Ivy has always used dual wield in all of my D&D uh, &D adventures, and so we're gonna do that here, even though people say it's probably the worst choice for actual DPS, but I like dual wielding, I always have, and we're gonna use it. Portion of healing, 2d4 plus 2. Heals and removes burning. Bonus action. Spiked bulb, 1 damage. The barbs inside this bulb explode on impact, making all nearby creatures bleed. A sticky sap-like substance trickles down the sides, down the spikes of this bulb. Caustic bulb. One to four damage, one D4 acid. Throw this slime-covered bulb at a target to coat it. The ground and anything nearby in caustic brine. Soft to the touch and covered with a thin layer of colorless slime. Scimitar, 4 to 9 damage, 1d6 plus 3 slashing, 
I don't think I have, I don't have proficiency with scimitars. This human-made scimitar falls far short of replicating the quality of the drow style it clearly, clearly imitates. No proficiency. Scimitar, light, finesse. That means that it can use your dexterity. If your dexterity is higher than your strength, then we'll use that for uh, attack and uh, damage rolls. You should have to buy that as a feat in 3.5, I think, but it's automatic here in this game, which which is good in this rule set. Crossbow. Light crossbow, three to, three to 10 damage, 1d8 plus two, piercing. It's plus two because of my uh, dexterity, I think. This crossbow's cast iron latch is modeled with blooms of rust. Equip that. And let's see. Uh, The zeal already has a short bow. It's two to seven damage. This small agile bow bears a beautiful elven string, easy to draw, but tough as steel. She's got a long sword, four to 13, wielding with both hands. Oh, I don't know how you, how do you pick that? See, is that something in the if I go down here? Is there some way to toggle that? Do they automatically use two hands if they only using one weapon? Maybe that's how it works, because you get more damage out of it. Yeah, I guess. Portions of healing. Take everything we can find here. What do we have here? So as, as I was saying, your environment is... You can really interact with it a lot in this game. First time I shot one of these, I was too close and I got... Uh... I got hit with some acid or something. That must have been a different type of thing over there when that happened to me. As you can see here, now if you push L3, you can interact with more stuff from the top here, from the top down view. There's not much to interact with in here. But I can show you what I'm talking about. We'll go back here just really quick.
So I can see here, you can see these bulbs up here. Now you can shoot these from here. See they, when they land, they put fire all over the ground. So you can use your environment to kill stuff. You know, if you're, uh, if you're tactical enough. Now you see there was fire there before, but now it's turned to ash. And you can see the turns are going down because we're in real time right now. Fine and formless dust, where the treasure or trinket before is lost to the flames. Now this is going to be a, a long and slow playthrough. Uh, <laughs> you can see I, I really don't mind taking my time. I've been through all this before and I, I still, I just love it. You know, I, I'm having a great time with it, so I'm in no rush. I don't think we missed anything back here. Yeah, I don't think we can get a I don't think we can get up top there, so I think we're good to go. You know, right, Lazil, it took a little damage there. Let's touch this machine in here. I'm not touching that. Just do it. With every purpose, okay. A purpose. See? Better, right? Does this count as adventuring? Oh, my hand slipped. We shouldn't trust this. She alien won't technology. Be able to take another dragon attack. We need to get out before it's too late. Short sword. This is what I'm using in my main hand. Four to nine, one d six plus three. A common and effective sword carried by adventurers, thieves, and watchmen alike. Simple robe, clothing, armor class. Crafted with care, this robe will protect you from the elements. Won't do much against the sword's thrust, though. See what this looks like. Material mesh. One to 
One gold. Let's get down, guys. We don't know what's what's coming through this door. What a waste. What do we have here? Cave machinery. I can make no sense of it. Damn it. What is that? Someone in trouble over here. What's going on here? Damn it! You! Get me out of this damn thing! We have no time for stragglers. Shut up. <laughs> the construction is too alien. Nothing looks familiar. This ship is crashing. Do you intend to die for a stranger? I'm not leaving her behind, okay? I'll go look around. There must be some way to get this thing open. Try that contraption next to the pod. They did something to it when they sealed me in. Hurry! Please! Main quest, escape the Nautiloid. Reach the helm. We've met one of the Mind Flayer's minions, an intellect devourer. He wants us to go to the helm of the ship. Find a way to release the captive. We encountered a survivor trapped inside one of the pods aboard the Nautiloid. Perhaps we can find a way to free her. Hmm. Didn't see this there. What is this? Malachite. Parents slip these stones under their children's pillows to ward off nightmares. Some gold. Let's pick up this backpack. Let's pick this up too. See what's going on with these people here. Light flickers in his eyes, but he seems totally unaware of his surroundings. Chin across the board. Dark vision, Bay Ancestry. Sapped. Target has been psionically drained. The man isn't dead, but he's totally unresponsive. Nice teeth. Let's see if we can make some use, make sense out of this. Unleash. Unleash. Aggression. <sighs> Lazelle, you think you can make anything out of this Osman over here? Let me use my skills. She has this astral knowledge thing here, which she can use to uh, gain proficiency in anything connected to one of her abilities. 
So we'll see if she can use her astral knowledge intelligence to gain some proficiency in Arcana to see if she can figure this one out. Annihilate, aggression, unleash. Hmm. Not sure. Let's try unleash. I don't know what any of this stuff does. I know this one will kill them. Let's try this one here. Unleash. Psionic energy radiates from the prisoners, but they do not react. Hmm. Nothing. What is this one? Aggression. Let's try this one. They've turned aggressive. The most powerful machine. We're on his feet now. an attack of opportunity. I want to make sure you're close enough so that they're threatened. So they can't just run past you. If you want to tank the tank, make the, uh, at least make the opponent take an attack of opportunity if they try to run away from you. Uh... There's no bonus actions for the intellect devourer for us, so that's that's its turn over. Can't even catch my breath. So we're gonna get close to this guy. Need to find a way forward. Can't quite make it, so we'll see if we can jump over there first. And I might give her a little bit more range to get over there and hit this guy. All right, that's done. Free for the taking. Candle. Burning. A half burnt beeswax candle. Can I use that as a light source? Probably not. I could probably throw it on the ground though to uh, start a fire. See if we can use that as a light source. Doesn't look like it. Well. It says it's burning. I guess we can use that to start fires. I mean, maybe that's the use of it. It doesn't provide light. I don't see why it wouldn't, but I guess not. Oh, and I 
another one. Find some use for those sometime. All right. We'll find, we'll find a, a way for you to get out of there. Just, 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 just relax. What is this? What is this? Now, you can go into turn-based mode so you can... Very well. You are beautiful. We are one. Why, thank you. <laughs> Turn it back off. Faint images appear in your mind. A brain, a git Yankee warrior, and centuries of darkness. Dark mind, a humanoid brain, alive and in perfect condition, suspended in cerebrospinal fluid. Brain in a jaw. Let's see. Picked up some jewelry there. A burnished necklace. Bright and polished, this necklace was clearly cherished by its previous owner. I'll just put that on, thank you. Damn, I look good. <laughs> Got a locked chest here. I can up. Try and lock pick this. I think we lose the lock picks right there as well. Let's see what you're hiding. Yeah, we lost the lock picks. I think if you if you uh, fa if you fail, you lose the lock picks. So that was unfortunate. We're gonna go ahead and end this here. Uh, hope you've enjoyed yourselves and I'll see you on the next episode. Thanks for watching.